We are at Camp Langston now. This is the last of our uh, three day, or three, not three day, three site drive type of thing. So this is the last one, then we're going to head home tomorrow. Uh, gravel pads, gravel road. They have a, a pool that's like an indoor outdoor pool. They have like gates that they pull up uh, to make it an outdoor pool. The site definitely is not very level that we're at. Uh, we had to go up on one side in pretty high up in the front. So, um, it, and a lot of that I think is due with all the rain that's come through. It's been crazy, ridiculous rain. Um, but you know, it'd be nice to have something that had a little bit more gravel to it. Sounds like they keep that for those that are staying for a longer period of time, like a full time, you know, type of deal. So, but it is kind of nice because like right outside your door is a uh, astro turf. So you have somewhere nice, you know, uh, you, you, you can't put uh, rugs out because it's more kind of like a RV-ish type resort type, kind of style. Uh, but I think you can if you put it on, on that. So we're just chilling now and had some lunch, going to let it settle and then uh, probably hit the pool later. Could be a solid it could be salt pool instead of a chlorine pool yeah. restaurants back here i believe that's a fitness center down there but yeah during the summer they they raise these up they were saying so it comes more of an outdoor rather indoor but they've got these open here so that's pretty cool nice little covered area too we can come chill out up here you know it definitely has some good amenities um i think there's a community fire pit definitely um got some bonuses here yeah there's the uh weight facility here weight room that's not too shabby yeah pretty nice actually pretty handy to have that and if you ever come venture this way or looking at doing any uh long time stay you know month two months whatever i know they do have a lot of long-term stays here as well And get in the water. Don't know if I showed it in the video, but uh, on the ends here, they got these good old swings. I love them. Like porch swings, you know? Comfortable. I don't want to get up this again in the water. It's so comfortable. Let me show you under our site here. So pretty heavy gravel here, but as you go further back, it's definitely lost um, a lot of gravel and some standing water back there. But if you look at that, compared to next to us here, you know, I don't understand why we got put here with all this. And it definitely, I mean, there's ruts there and stuff too. So, and where we were told we can park here, it's very similar to our site now, you know, anyway. But that's a bummer. That's the way it is. All right, so here's the bigger of the two lakes. It's uh, actually right across from where we're parked, so uh, it's not too bad. We'll find maybe hopefully at some point, maybe if it don't rain tomorrow, get in with some kayaks. So right behind me is the uh, swimming pool. This is like a little deck up above the outside, and you can kind of get an overview of everything here. Pretty cool. Nice little thing. There's Spaniola down there. You can kind of see how the uh, close the RVs are here. Let me see if I can get all the way around. Pretty close to getting a whole view of the park. But yeah, pretty good. We're over there somewhere. I think we're hidden right there. Uh -huh. And there's a game room we'll check out later, I think is up there basketball court over there you want to sit under your umbrella here keep the bright sun off my face <laughs> all right here's the game room cool air hockey in the corner foosball bobby nobody play no foosball This is a nice little area here. You can see the cabins. 
And uh, there's a couple over there. Well, some over there. Here's another one of the lakes. We're gonna walk down and check out the uh, water slide area down there. This is pretty nice. I mean, you definitely could tell it was, um, used to be a camp, boys, girl, camp, club, camp, whatever you want to kind of call it. And uh, it was bought out. And... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's see what's going on. I decided to bring my own rocker. Those are too tall. I'm too short. <laughs> We are really liking this big old chill out patio area. We were just talking about, sounds like it's starting to rain. You can probably see it too, you know, kind of coming in there. I think a big chunk of it missed us. But it's really just real nice. Uh, you know, we're not having to sit at the RV underneath the awning or in our pop-up canopy or anything like that to stay dry. But this is quiet and calm and we can it's perfect. perfect weather i mean you couldn't ask for anything better it's june like june what 7th and like we can be outside and not sweat it's crazy i don't down. understand why stinky winky. all this rain that we've had i suppose it's been a crazy summer so far and it's just started set up the outdoor tv inside so she can do this and then the boys Gonna play some retro gaming tonight. Woohoo! We are going to be playing C Rampage. Yep. That's what's going on today. Sitting at the overview, reading. Looks like they put some basketballs out down there somewhere. I don't know where they went. They're there. I can see them. So, I might later go and just shoot for fun. Kids will probably swim too at some point today. At least I hope so. Amber and I just got done kayaking. I didn't really record any because I didn't want my phone to get wet. So I told her, I said, what I need to do is get one of those headpieces for awesome. the um, GoPro, you know. So, oh yeah, mom picked this up while we were out. And this is the stem. And the stem, which cut off. And it goes deep on those lily pads. So I think we're gonna hit up some swimming. Well, a couple things. One, don't know why I never thought about it before, but the other day having that TV in that back room, that was a no-brainer. Why have I never done that before? You watch TV in the main area, and we have to use my external speakers uh, that I use when I present in, to, in order to hear it over the AC. Well, in the back room, you don't have that loud AC. So, it's a perfect spot for it. Love it. Put them up back there. They're watching their movie right now. I'm gonna go figure out this water pressure thing that we're having. Um, I think it's our regulator is off because we run that pressure, we run the water, and it drops significantly. So then I put on our old style, I'll show you. So then I put on this one, you know, our the standard cheapo, you know, put that guy on and there's no loss of pressure. So there's definitely something going on with the regular regulator that I'm going to, um, I don't know, undo, figure out, maybe something's jammed in there. I don't know, we'll find out. Well, after doing some research and looking through the paperwork, it says to use your fingernail to push this to relieve pressure, which I'm doing right now, and it's not going anywhere. So I think the problem is this pressure regulator itself is not functioning right because it has been hooked up for quite a while and it's still showing pressure of 20. I think I found the problem. Not bad. I want to quit your day job. Don't go be in a pool of shock.
Roman just cleared out too. He's working for his next and hoping not to get the eight ball in. Ooh, you did not see that. You sneezed and looked away. Roman lines up his shot, checks his grip, lines up his shot again. Oh, not what he wanted to do. All right, we made up a new game called Dice Battle. So we got equal amount of dice. We have one that we slide across the floor and every one that it touches, you get to keep. No. All right, we take turns. <laughs> oh, my moved? My bad. My turn. Your turn. She totally missed, but she's been cleaning house against me. Here we go. Oh, I missed. Mm, tonight's the first for camping. Meatball burritos. I'm going on a meatball wrap. Meatball wrap. Chicka like chicka what? I'm going to do it like the chicken wrap. Meat wrap. Basically... This is what I did. I put some ketchup and then just rolled it in the ketchup. Nice. And then put it in and then put some cheese in. I put bread in and I ate this in my teeth in the top pot. Nice.